congratulations, you played yourself. Go have sex with yourself, asshole. I'm not that stupid. Just for that, I'm gonna spend my whole childhood eating what I want and doing drugs when I want. <laughs> Whatever, I do what I want. No, wait! What's up guys, it's the Nightwing Way of Life Esports coming at you guys with another League of Legends video here today uh, talking about Golden Glue actually. So Golden Glue leaves Golden Guardians, I mean this should come as a shock to no one since they uh, have been playing Demonte in their starting roster and we got news that Demonte would be their starter will consider coaching opportunities for the future. I could see myself becoming the coach that I always needed, but was never there for me. So, in my own personal opinion of Golden Glue, uh, basically, outside of making one finals with Cloud9, all the way back in summer 2018, uh, where he got a chance to obviously overcome his demons of never uh, being in the playoffs. He got to the playoffs one time, and he actually won a best of five series. Then he got to his first and only final he's ever actually been in, which is summer 2018 finals against Team Liquid. Obviously, you guys know the history there. Team Liquid sweep Cloud9. Then pretty much after that, he was a backup on C9 until he got picked up by Golden Guardians. Now at this point, uh, where obviously he's not on Golden Guardians and they're playing Demonte. But even before the whole Cloud9 Cinderella story, uh, before that he was just on a lot of teams. I mean, he was on Echo Fox, Team Liquid, other minor teams that nobody really even knows still to this day if you haven't been watching that long. He has played on so many different rosters. At one point, he was considered the worst mid laner in the LCS when he was with Team Liquid. All the way back in 2017 spring and summer when they were going through all their roster changes with Rainover, Lorlo. At one point they had double it for relegations. It was a, it was the <laughs> wild, wild west out here uh, for the LCS way back before franchising. It kind of still is the wild, wild west if you're really thinking about it from an analytical standpoint, but. Golden Glue as a player, to me, has never really been that impressive. I think that a player like him is decently LCS caliber, and I think that he does deserve a starting spot. I mean, if Aka and Ryoma can be starters in the LCS, you know, at least on their level, Golden Glue is better than them. So I think that if you're talking, if Golden Glue is your lowest common denominator uh, for a mid laner, I personally think that obviously, uh, he should be in the LCS by those standards. I mean, Aka got a whole split, Ryoma's still playing, but Ryoma is slowly improving. And has Golden Glue really improved, or was there a narrative that falsely painted him as a player that was obviously getting better? Because from everything that I've seen, I don't think he's really ever, like, shown anything to me different than when I first saw him. I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to rag on the guy, but I haven't really seen anything impressive out of him. All the way up until that summer 2018 best of five against TSM. And then even after that, I was like, well, where's the rest? I mean, I got a chance to see him in the uh, 2020 spring split with Golden Guardians, and I think that that was his best split overall, but it wasn't anything super impressive. So with that being said, I personally think that the best roster he's ever had was the uh, Golden Guardians roster he had just this past split, at minus the key support, obviously. And when you're factoring in the key support, outside of that, he had a pretty good roster overall. All the other rosters he's ever been on has have been pretty bad, you know, because I can't really count the C9 rosters he was on because he wasn't really the starter after a certain point. Like, I'm talking about splits where he's been the full starter from start to finish because on Cloud9, all the way back in summer 2018, he wasn't really ever the starter, if you can understand what I'm meaning. Like, the LCS teams where he was the starter, he obviously wasn't even that impressive. So, I kind of want to see what he's going to be doing after all this going on. Golden Glue, one of the most experienced League of Legends players in North America, officially announced today that he's leaving Golden Guardians and looking for both player and coaching opportunities in free agency. In a tweet logger, the 23-year-old veteran explained the situation revolving around Golden Guardians and how things led to him being replaced in the starting roster by mid laner DeMonte. He said the team called him a week before practice was set to start for the LCS 2020 summer split and told him that DeMonte could be joining the team to try out for his starting spot. 
Uh, there's a lot going on in this, uh, so I'm gonna have to kind of, like, go through all that, and I'll read his tweet longer, actually. Uh, actually, you know, we'll just go over the rest of the bottom, and then we'll go over his tweet longer, actually. Ultimately, the team decided to keep a Blaze Olive for the Academy squad after both he and Golden Glue tried out for the open spot because he's the young player, according to the veteran mid laner. Golden Glue also knew that the Academy team had plenty of experienced players like Darshan, Hard, and Keith who filled the same need as him. To be honest, I was somewhat expecting this since he was younger than me and has never played in LCS before, Golden Glue said. Nevertheless, I still couldn't believe that I went from being a key performer on an LCS team that made playoffs, despite doubt from the community, to being teamless in a span of weeks. As a result, Golden Glue has decided to open up his ventures to look for both player and coaching opportunities this coming offseason. He believes that becoming a coach seems like a viable and interesting path that he could become the coach he always needed but was never there for him. Let's read over his twit longer. I really hope... Oh, this is long. Holy crap. I'm going to have to go through all this. Jeez. Okay. Um... Let's read it since I give you guys this long content and you guys obviously like this. I think my current situation is very odd and I would have never guessed that I would be in this position if you asked me at the end of the spring split. My end of the season conversations with Golden Guardians went very well and I was both happy with the direction the team was heading and they were happy with my performance and attitude. One week before practice was scheduled to begin, I had a call with management informing me that there was a chance that DeMonte could be joining the team and would try out for the spot depending on how their conversations with Dignitas would go. At this time, I was also allowed to reach out to other teams if I wanted to, but I believe my best chances for making Worlds were here. Yikes. I was pretty upset because I thought that, without a doubt, proved myself worthy in a spring split. However, I'm used to competing for my spot and was prepared to fight for it. Practice started with DeMonte joining yet. Pra oh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Practice started without DeMonte joining yet. But at the beginning of practice, the team wanted to give me some of the academy players, some of the some LCS scrim time, a Blaze Olive and Darshan, since they were performing well in academy, which I totally agree with. A Blaze Olive's first scrim day was versus IMT, and he got a pentakill in the first game while they crushed them for the rest of the set. The next day, I played versus TSM, and we got trashed pretty hard. 1-4, and four, if I remember correctly. The remainder of the week, I won slightly more games playing against the same opponent, but it was very close, and at this point, I was already getting subtle vibes that I wasn't going to be able to keep the spot. At the In the end, the team decided to start a Blaze Olive in the LCS for the foreseeable future, and I was absolutely devastated. I feel like I was one of the best performers on the team in the spring split, and I had mo the most MVPs in our wins to show it, but it seemed like none of that mattered at the time. Fast forward a couple days, I was preparing myself to play in Academy and earn my spot back in the LCS that I thought I deserved. However, DeMonte was unexpectedly allowed to try out with the LCS team because he finally got Dig and Toss's permission. After two days of scrims uh, with DeMonte, the team decided to use him for the LCS. Now it was me versus Ablaze Olive for the Academy spot. The tryouts between us lasted up until one week before LCS started and they were really fierce so by the way we were both playing very well but in the end the org made a decision to use Ablaze Olive in Academy since he had less experience playing and was a younger player also the team was already filled with veteran players essentially as he words this Darshan Keith and Hard who had a lot of experience playing in Academy like me. To be honest, I was somewhat expecting this since he was younger than me and has never played in the LCS before. Nevertheless, I still couldn't believe that I went from being a key performer on an LCS team that made playoffs, despite doubt from the community, to being teamless in a spam of weeks. Golden Guardians gratefully helped me reach out to other LCS teams to look for a spot and were even willing to waive the buyout fee as well as as this all happened so last minute. However, I was unable to find a team to play for, as there were only a few days until the LCS started. 
I've spent the last month thinking a lot about my future. I've considered what my life would be like if I kept playing, if I tried coaching, streaming, or even tried going to college. While I still want to compete, I'm now more than ever open to the idea of taking on other roles. After talking to many friends and mentors within the industry, I've decided that coaching makes a lot of sense for me considering my personality type and player experience. The fact that I have over seven years of experience competing on countless teams, it makes it very easy for me to relate and talk to players. It's impossible to understand the feelings and struggles that you go through as a pro player unless you felt them yourself. In addition, by playing at such a high level for so long, I've acquired an immense amount of game knowledge that I can apply to coaching. I think growing myself as a coach seems like a viable seems like a viable but also very intriguing career path for me. I could see myself becoming the coach that I always needed but was never there for me. As of today, Golden Guardians and I have decided that it makes the most sense at this time to mutually part ways while I field, while I field offers for both playing and coaching. I'm very grateful for the time I have spent here. I've learned a lot about myself in these past six months and I've really enjoyed the environment here. I'm not entirely sure what role I'll be taking on next, but I do do know that I'm going to give it my absolute 100%. This is the first time I've been a free agent in around four years since I've left Ember, lol. Oh, that's a old, old team. And to be completely honest, it's very exciting, but also equally terrifying. I hope I can find a place to grow and learn from the rest of Summer Split and also continue to, de to develop myself both professionally and personally. Finally, I want to say a huge thank you to all my friends, family, and fans who have supported me over the years. My career has definitely had its ups and downs, but the but the one constant has been you guys. I wouldn't be here writing this if it weren't all for you. I've had far from the ideal pro playing career, but I've always felt like I've given it my best, and I have no regrets with how things have gone. I wouldn't be the person I, that I am today without without having faced all the challenges throughout my career. I believe that your character shouldn't be just based on what happens to you in your life, but rather how you respond and grow from it. If you've made it this far, thank you for taking the time to read this. Yikes. Uh, that's a lot of reading, dude. But it was a great read, nonetheless. Hope you guys all but enjoyed this. If you came down here looking for the TLDR, Golden Guardians and I have mutually terminated my contract and I'm currently a free agent looking for both playing and coaching opportunities. I mean, uh, hopefully he finds a team, but I, I think that he could fit better as a coach because I just don't think he's ever going to win a split. Just being completely honest here, I don't think he will win a split overall. I think that uh, his peak as finally breaking a curse of his, was making that one final, winning in a playoff. Sometimes that's all your career could amount to if you're a player of his skill. I mean, they definitely saw that his skill level was definitely not there for what they wanted. And that's just up to the or to decide that. But I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing and Way of Life Esports is... Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry about the LOL podcast this week. I got extremely busy and my Discord constantly just kept not picking up my mic. So I need to fix my Discord before the podcast returns. But I really wanted the podcast to obviously uh, be filmed this week. I'll just do like a bigger double feature uh, next week for you guys. So obviously... Uh, I'll give you guys that because I messed up this week. Sorry, the podcast didn't come up. Actually, since the podcast wasn't up this week, I'll just upload a podcast from my main YouTube channel on it here. That way you guys will have something, you know, to binge watch over the next couple of uh, days, obviously. As, uh, you know, the LCS and LEC, LCK and LPL constantly play for me and I have no life, so I watch all of them. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Have a good day. I am the Nightwing and I'm signing out. Peace. Like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you.